Hello and welcome back to Lantern 98 channel. Today we are going to learn how to blueprint a 3D model, let alone a video game model. Uh, so first things first is getting the model. So I had to do a little bit of learning before I did this because I was looking like an absolute clown. Not to mention I first recorded at least the first segment, which was six minutes, without the microphone working. And that was completely my fault, it was plugged in, just wasn't registering it. However, we are going to, at least in this video, we are going to blueprint Fast and the Furious models, which more so this is going to be blueprinting an FBX file type. Now the problem that we have with this is that when we bring it in, the model is most likely going to be pink when we load up the textures. And this is because it can't find the textures because of how the FBX is ran. So what we are going to do is bring it in. I'm going to show you how to put the textures back on it, hopefully. And then uh, we are going to actually blueprint it. So let's begin. First thing, get your file. I've downloaded this one, the uh, Ford Focus SVT from gamemodels.ru. This is a Russian website, just so you know, so if you have a blocker for Res Russian websites, it won't come up. Chances are this website might come up in Russian when you first load it. You, there is an option to go to English. It does claim Russian isn't default, which is strange. That wasn't how that has it. That was not how it was when I first came across this. I did have to guess what things were. But now that they've streamlined it to English, that's nice. At least for me. So, let's bring this into Blender and we'll get the textures working. Alright, so we're going to load up Blender here and we're going to be given our square. We're going to delete that and we are going to import our FBX model. Documents, downloads. And. That's a four focus, Celine. Watch the textures work now that we put it in a folder. Okay, they are still going to be pink. This is fine. Alright, so now that we brought our model in, uh, we're going to try and apply textures. Now we could just blueprint it as such, however, if we can actually have this thing in color, that would make this blueprinting process so much nicer, so then we can actually see things that we wouldn't have seen from this. So how do we get the textures to work? Now, it is going to be a bit of a painful, long process, considering there's a lot of textures to go along with this. However, what we're going to do, we are in standard layout, we are going to go to... Oh, come on, shading nodes. Yes, we're going to go to shading. Shade editor. And what we're going to do is we're going to select on stuff. It will tell us that this is texture 27 that is applied to the roof. So, we are going to go to... Let's see. Let's check in browse image to be linked. Open image. Let's see. It's not going to give me... Hmm. I'm wondering if there was a way to just change everything in one sitting. Guess not. Create an image. Open image. Well, let's see. We're looking for texture 27, so we're going to go to our file, go to textures, and 27. Hey, look at that. 27 is loaded, alright, this one's 26. This is going to be a long process. If you know Blender more than me, which is not hard, you can make this a lot quicker. Texture 29. So, really, all you're going to do is just go through and reapply all your textures. And that's it. At least this is the first step. The actual blueprinting process will be after this. 31. So, you guys can do this portion here. I am going to skip this and we'll see when it comes to the actual blueprinting process all right we're done 
Um, so something that would make this a lot faster is if you happen to have a DDS to PNG uh, file converter. For some reason, uh, when you bring, when I brought this file into Blender, it thought all the textures were PNG files. So it's trying to find PNG files, can't find them, so it makes it pink. However, uh, I just had to go through every single thing and just select the DDS file version. I did attempt a PNG converter and it did make a lot of them, but I was getting a lot of, uh, you need to buy the pro version, so we're going to stop. And that's what happens. So, this is what we got. So now that our car has all the textures on it, or the textures we at least need, we are going to blueprint it. Now let's see... Can we, like, make this thing somewhat shiny? Because it kind of looks bad when there's no shine. Not to mention... There we go, now I can actually tell the difference between the window and the plastic. Cool. Sweet, okay, we got what we want. All right, now that this is all textured, we need to actually do the blueprint part. So that should be easy. Uh, so I don't know if your screen is gonna currently be on perspective or orthographic, but you'll want it on orthographic. I'm gonna s just save this. All right, now I deleted the camera and the light. I just need this. So this we're going to deem our side view. So that looks pretty blueprint-esque, but we need the other views. So how do we do that all in one picture? Well, we are going to, I don't want to join everything, so we're going to need to pay attention to the prompts that come up. So we're going to spin it this way. I'm going to get the prompt for that, negative 90. Did I just, negative uh, 90. Then we'll bring forward. Hey, now we have a front view. Let's bring it down. Make a copy and bring it down. Rotate it the other way. 180. Hey, we got the rear view. Now, we need this. So let's... I'm gonna select everything in this area. Even that. And we'll... Shift D down, we'll rotate it that way, and we can bring it up a little. Hey, look at that! And N and T out. And look at that, we have our blueprint. So yes, this is a video game model, so it is a little janky. Got the fog lights going through the wheel well here, so that kind of sucks. As well as, well, this is an actual 3D model, so the te it's not as nice of it as if this was just a nice drawing that had some lines on it. However, this is still better than guessing the thing uh, from nothing. Now, I have no idea how to make the alpha blend stuff work, so yeah, we're going to see some of the gunk from what should be transparent. To be honest, I don't really know Blender, I just know how to make cars in Blender. So yeah. Actually, you know what, this model here I guess will be the definitive thing, whether or not uh, my initial Ford Focus model is bad, or the two, the SVT and the RS files. I mean, uh, blueprints are better. We'll see. 
But until then, and then obviously the last thing you need to do, snipping tool. And you'll take a picture. Yeah, I got some gunk in there, but we can send that to MS Paint and fix that. So, and is that, the exhaust is slightly weird, it's off in a way. Oh well, who cares. Alright, we got what we want. Now you just file save as, bring it in the, bring the pictures into Blender, and make your car. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll have another one for um, OBJ models here at some point, and we'll be doing the Gran Turismo files from that that website as well. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!